friends welcome to my channel today in this video i'll take you to bangalore fort of course with some interesting history and fascinating facts about it bangalore fort is situated close to the busy kr market next to the victoria hospital in bangalore Bangalore Fort The story goes back to 1537 when Kempagoda the founder of Bangalore a sub king under the Vijayanagara empire had a dream to create a city as beautiful as Hampi He therefore went on to create a town surrounded by a mud fort enclosing an area of roughly 2.24 square kilometers a town which expanded over centuries and what is today known as Bangalore or Bengaluru The fort had several gates and among them the most prominent were Delhi gate and Mysore gate of which only Delhi gate remains today The Delhi gate was magnificent and could easily allow elephants to travel through it The massive thick wood doors had huge spikes and they were used as weapons to block the enemy The entire fort was surrounded by ditch filled with water and enemy traps. The first thing that you see as you enter through this massive gates is the ancient 150 year old Ganesha temple. It is said to have been built by Kempagoda but is no longer functional. Most of the carvings that you see on the walls reflect Hoysala architecture. These small spaces built in the wall at different locations were used as a resting place by the soldiers. Some had secret tunnels and even enemy traps. Turning left from the entrance will lead you to an open courtyard. The royal enclosures that has a green lawn. There is also a small tunnel-like entrance next to the gateway. It was a death trap and whoever walked through it would become the target of soldiers at the other end. As you come out of the small tunnel, you will notice these two carved stones lying here belonging to the Ganesha temple. One of the fascinating carving one cannot miss is the Hoysala symbol. on the wall it depicts the fight between the mythical warrior sala and a tiger as you walk by the side of the walls in the courtyard you will also notice some interesting carvings of animals on the granite stones it is believed that the three fishes symbolized water body on the three sides of the fort the fish with a hook symbolized a trap and a monkey symbolized escape route by climbing Also one can spot Kirti Mukha a fierce monster face with protruding eyeballs and Shivalinga framed by an arch During the construction of the fort a mysterious thing used to happen where a portion of the wall repeatedly collapsed and it was said that a pregnant woman needed to be sacrificed to appease the gods Kempagoda would not permit it Seeing her father-in-law's difficult situation, it is believed that his pregnant daughter-in-law, Lakshmi Devi, sneaked out in the middle of the night and self-sacrificed herself near the southern gates of the fort. 
Finally, they completed the construction of the fort. In her memory, Kempagoda constructed the Lakshma Devi Temple, which still stands in Kormangala. Here we see few of the chambers used to store weapons and armory. When Hyder Ali took over the fort in 1761, being a military chief himself, he started rebuilding the entire mud fort with granite stones and made 26 bastions, circular shaped watchtower at regular intervals which could station several soldiers around the fort, which later improved by his son Tipu Sultan. These steps lead to the bastions built at the top of the fort. The bastions were so strategically built that they covered all the gates and entrances and the soldiers had a clear view all the time. This is a gun hole where soldiers used to point guns in different directions. They were also used to pour hot oil and boiling water to make the enemy run away. These small circular hiding holes were used by soldiers to protect themselves from the noise made by the firing of the cannons. These are cannon areas built sufficiently in such a manner that one could easily move the cannon in any direction. At the center, the steps will lead you down to the underground dark prison cells. The dark cells had three holes, one to pass the food, one for ventilation and one for stuffy air. It is here that the famous British captain David Byrd was imprisoned by Hyder Ali and his fierce son Tipu Sultan for almost five years. Twenty years later, the same British captain defeated Tipu Sultan in the famous Fourth Anglo-Mysore War. He was also the one who found Tipu Sultan's body after the war in Sri Rangapatnam. The British captured the Bangalore fort in 1791. After the death of Tipu Sultan in 1799, they started dismantling the fort a process that continued till 1930s. Parts of it were demolished for widening roads and the other old buildings inside the fort quickly made ways for colleges, schools, bus stands and hospitals. Guys, did you know Bangalore fort was so huge with 26 bastions that Tipu Sultan's summer palace, Kota Venkatramana temple, fort high school, Vani Villas hospital, 
the prominent attractions which were once part of the Bangalore fort. Unfortunately, what remains is the Delhi Gate and two bastions of the fort, which is merely 5% of the original fort. It's time for me to say goodbye to this glorious fort that stands as a testimony to its war history. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, then please do subscribe to my channel, Northern Star. See you in my next video and you guys have a beautiful day.